Hello and welcome back to another Craig and Dave Unscripted. Just Dave and I this week, uh, no guests, because we're here to tell you about something we're very excited about. You can probably tell because we've, we've changed the, the banners around our, our frames for the first time ever. But we are exhibiting at the annual Bet Show in London in January from the 19th to the 21st. Now, we're going to get into this in a bit. We're going to tell you what Bet is, if you've never heard of it. We're sure a lot of you have. Why we think it's an excellent show for all education, um, all educators to attend, especially if you're in the field of technology and computer science. Um, but let's start off some really, really useful information. Where are we going to be if you want to come? And then we'll get into some nitty gritty. So if you've never been to Bet, um, where did it used to be held, Dave? Because we've been going for years. It used to be held in... Oh, yeah, man. it used to be held at the, um, I want to say the, it's an XL now, isn't it? Yeah, it Olympus or the O2, O2 Arena. Oh, maybe. I can't remember where. Yeah, because I used to go in the really early days with, with, with Dave, but it's grown such a scale. It's in the, the absolutely massive um, XL Centre in uh, London Docklands. Um, if you've never been there before, huge venue. Um, this is the entire floor plan, which you can't make any sense of at, at this scale. It's it's vast. But if I uh, zoom in to this top left quadrant here, there we are. Hey, <laughs> Craig and Dave Limited stand NA55. So, uh, yeah, just behind Unity uh, N Digital, uh, around the corner from BBC Education. Lovely. So, um, so right. OK, so we're going to be at Bet Dave. Uh, we've got a stand. We've committed. It's our first time there. Why don't you tell everyone um, a little bit about you know what what is bet? Yeah, why why should they go? Why should they attend? Other than the fact that they can just meet us, which of course is great. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, go. Cool. How many times have I been to bet now? I reckon I've been at least at least 10, 10 to fifteen times, something like that. And you used to go quite regularly as well, didn't you, Craig? How many times have you been? Yeah, it must be coming up to almost double figures, if not double figures now. The very first time I went, obviously, was as a trainee teacher, and it was one of your um, one of your pathway trainee sessions. And then I think I went several years in a row at the uh, schools I was at, and I actually went a couple of times exhibiting for another company. Um, so, but yeah, I, I'm extra excited this time, as I say, because this is the first time we're going to be there as Craig and Dave, getting to meet our customers. But um, I always found it a worthwhile event when I went as a teacher. And I went as a trainee, a normal teacher, a middle leader. Um, really, I mean, there's there's something for every sort of, every teacher, every role in school, isn't there? You can all get something from it. You're not going to find more types of people in one place at one time than, than really at bet. No, definitely not. It's, I think it's a bit of a pilgrimage, really, for for all educators i mean traditionally if you were a teacher of it or computer science then you would go it would be one of those shows for you um and then of course those that were in senior leadership with um a role in um you know computing across the school and um moving technology and teaching and learning with technology across the school then it's uh, it's a great show for those people as well but now of course technology is infused in all the subjects and yeah. um you know certainly the pandemic has brought to the fore how much technology can play a part in education and uh, it's just the, the tip of the iceberg really and so i think for all educators this is a bit should be a bit of a pilgrimage at least once in your teaching career you should probably go to bet and see what it's all about because um everybody um, is going to be there all under one roof so whether you wanted to talk to the exam boards whether you want to see all the latest gadgets and gizmos, whether you want to talk to content providers, whether you're interested in content management systems, literally anything yeah. that you would be interested in that's related to uh, technology and education. And, and, it, and that's the bit that's important, technology and education, not just sort of all technology. Um, then it's a it's a great place to go because you can uh, do all your research and find out all the latest things um, all on the same day and and come back completely overwhelmed. So and I mean just just sorry just for very quick to up. So just to give an idea of how big this show is, I mean you know, <laughs> thanks to you guys, Craig and Dave has grown, but we're still we're still actually a relatively small fish in terms of the people who are there at Bet. I mean this show 
It's, 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 it's not a joke. It, it attracts the big boys, isn't it? As you said, Dell's there, Microsoft are there, Apple are there. Anyone who's anything in technology and have their foot in or are doing something in the education market, they will be there. So, you know, all, all the way from providing entire whole cross solutions for technology through to specific little apps to help with X, Y, and Z and, and everything else in between, um, they're, they're all there. It, it really does pull in... Um, pulling everyone i think over 800 exhibitors they said this year 500 800 it's it's a lot it's a lot yeah and uh, i can't believe you missed out google out of all that lot as well and <laughs> absolutely so uh, yeah as craig said it's got something for everyone if you're a new teacher looking for ideas to uh, spice up your lessons and uh, you're interested in different pedagogies and different courses and those kinds of things you're going to find something for you there um, if you're uh, looking for, am I going to become a Google Classroom school? Am I going to be an Office 365 school? Am I going to be something else? And you're looking at a more sort of whole school leadership um, in terms of technology, then that's that's all there. So you're going to be able to evaluate on the day the difference between all those uh, different technologies and different providers. So it's really good. And as uh, Craig alluded to, there are lots of little providers as well. I mean, yeah. we will be one of the smallest providers there because, you know, we're a very, very small company. Um, but there will be um, some people that are smaller than us as well and uh, are just kind of, you know, selling some of their new resources or making some of their resources freely available to schools. And so there's a, a vast range of, uh, of providers um, there. So it's, yeah, de definitely worth a visit. I thought it'd be worth just having a quick look at the BET website, Craig, just to get, get a bit yeah. of flavor for it. So if you want to have a look at this, um, www.betshow.com, everything that you need is there, including the full list of exhibitors and what they're offering. Everything you need to know can be found there. So the Global Community for Education Technology, learn more about what we do. Um, so global, and that's one thing we haven't mentioned actually, Craig, this is an international exhibition and it does yeah, attract um, an audience um, from right across Europe and, and further. Okay, so here we are. Bet's the global community for education technology. We spark ideas, create connections, drive impact and improve outcomes for teachers and learners. And I think in a nutshell, that is exactly what it is. It's yeah. a great place uh, for you to be part of that global community and to, to meet other people and to meet um, providers that can put you in touch with, with other people. So, for example, if you were interested in... Um, making the switch between Office 365 and Google Classroom. Uh, just as an example, you might go along and say, I'm really interested in that. You can get a product demo. You can ask a ton of questions. And then you can say, can you put me in touch with people that are actually using your products and uh, use that as a bit of a, of a networking event um, as well. And I'm using sort of, you know, Google and Microsoft because those are the big providers as, a, as an example. But you can do it with, with anything. You know, if you wanted to go and have a chat to OCR and talk to them about their, their GCSE course, and then you want to go and have a, a chat to Pearson Ed Excel about their course and then AQA and compare and contrast and uh, talk to teachers that are actually delivering those courses. Because a lot of these providers uh, will bring people that are are using their products there for you to have a chat to them, people, teachers that are actually using the products and students as well. You'll probably find there are going to be some students there uh, talking about various things. So it's great. It's great for that. Um, and sparking ideas. And one of the things that I mm. loved about going to BET is I didn't know what I was going to find. You know, you, you go there and you discover something that you, you didn't know about. And I remember going there and seeing Kodu for the very first time, for example, and it completely changed the way that I approached programming at Key Stage 3. Um, years and years ago. Uh, it was the place where I saw Scratch for the first time. And I remember, Craig, you saw something quite innovative for the first time and kind of went off in a direction. You you saw that um, uh, Microsoft and their Connect system. Yes. They were opening up the sort of the APIs or something. I, I can't fully remember it now, but you were inspired. I remember seeing that. Can yeah. Remember? And, and, and I would 
I would say um, just to you're saying about going to bed and just discovering stuff, Dave, I, I would say maybe half the times I've gone to bed with a very focused mindset of what it is I want to find out. Um, so I want to learn about this. I want to find out a bit more about that. I want to compare this product with that product. I know they're both going to be there. But if you're there going, oh, I don't know why I go to bed. I'd say half the times I went to bed, I went with no agenda. I didn't go with a fixed agenda because even if you have a fixed agenda, you will discover stuff you weren't, that wasn't even on your radar, you know, and then it'll be a quick call back to school. You know, let's say you've got the Thursday off. I've just seen this. Oh, very interesting. So, you know, you don't worry so much if you're like, blimey, I, I don't even know why I'd go to bed. I, I would say give it a stab anyway if you've not been, because it will spark ideas. And as I said, even if you do go with a very fixed mindset of what it is you're there to achieve, um, you will... You, you will come off that at multiple points. Uh, you know, you'll come across things you've never seen before. So, um, yeah, don't don't be don't be don't don't be too uh, afraid of just turning up without any clue <laughs> why you're going. <laughs> I did that a number of times. It's also worth mentioning. We haven't said it yet, of course, Dave. It's completely free. I mean, obviously, we appreciate. It's not totally free to to your school. It is during school days. It's Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, I want to say. So there's obviously travel cost and there'll be a cover implementation, uh, a cover uh, cost. But um, the actual event itself is free and I, you just register from this site. So you, know, you pop in your details, you go and all the companies are giving away freebies when they're there. Um, they quite often uh, are doing discounts uh, on signing up to products or services or resources if you attended BET you know, use this voucher code by the end of the month. And uh, so there's all, all sorts of promotions. And of course, you know, you're not committed to do anything. Just go along and just get ideas. But, you know, there's there's lots of, of, of good reasons to go. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're going to you're going to walk out of there with a carrier bag. <laughs> yeah, uh, pro probably uh, probably not a plastic carrier bag uh, uh, anymore. I would I would hope. No. Let's, let's wait and see. But you're going to uh, come out with a uh, sustainable uh, carrier bag full of um you know literature um all the everything from from articles to pamphlets to promotions to discounts to 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 everything and um as craig said we're not promoting this to you because um we uh you know we get uh, get something if you come and come and see us of course not um it's completely free um as craig said it's just you know an opportunity for for you to See everything all under one roof on one day. That's that's really what that's about. So yeah, and, and um, let's, really. be honest, I mean, let's be honest though. One of the things I'm most keen and exciting about is actually meeting some of our customers face to face. Yeah, you know, I mean, come to bet for all the reasons we've said. I said great pilgrimage. You should go. You will find. But yeah, you know, if you're there and you use us, please pop by. I'm really. Yeah, I'm really excited about um, we interact with you guys on, on forum and, and social media and, and, you know, people email us in daily with questions. But we, we very rarely obviously actually get to meet the people. We, we, we do do the, um, uh, the online training event. We do a few CAS events online, but it's not the same. It, it's, it's not the same as meeting face to face. So, you know, if you're a bet, if you're if, if you use smart revise or teaching resources or even if you don't, but you've heard of us come and have a chat i think that's one of the things i'm i'm most looking forward to because we just don't get a lot of opportunities to do that yeah definitely because as craig said most of the time when we go to other events whether they're computing at school or they're in set days or whatever they are most of the time we're giving a presentation and the opportunity yeah. for having a discussion with us and sort of q a is, is quite limited really but with bet you could basically spend the whole day talking to us if you really, really wanted to. I mean, you'll miss out on a whole load of other stuff if you do. But sure, you know, come along and um, have a chat if you want to discuss in more detail about how to use our resources, uh, maybe some of the successes and some of the problems that you've had with them as well and, and share some of the difficulties that you have with uh, teaching with some of our resources. And we can talk you through in much more detail about um, the implementation of them. And you will probably be able to give us some ideas as well about the things that you want for the future. Um, if you want to talk about smart revise in more detail and, and get a better insight into what we're developing for the future, 
and you want to share your ideas with us and things that you want to see implemented, uh, it's a great opportunity to have that quality time with us that, as Craig said, you don't get quality time with a, an email back and forth. You don't get quality mm. time with a Facebook group post and we reply. You don't get the quality time at a training event that we go to. Um, because you're just not having enough of that time uh, one-to-one with us. So BET is a perfect opportunity. If you're going anyway, brilliant. Um, you know, yeah. come and have a chat to us and uh, we'll talk all about um, our, our resources. It's going to be quite a challenge for us, actually, Craig, isn't it? Because you've been before in yeah. terms of helping out on a stand and I haven't. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to have to talk. I, I don't have any problem talking, as everyone no. knows. <laughs> but I'm going to have to talk. It's going to be quite a challenge for three days solid. And I, <laughs> I've not really tried that before. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you'll be allowed to take some breaks. But yeah, I mean, and obviously we're going to be showcasing our flagship products. We'll be there with our teaching resources and our latest ideas and what we're moving forward. We'll be there with Smart Revise and we'll be able to chat to you about where the product's going and do you have any useful feedback or information. Or if you've never used them, you've heard them, you want to give them a go you know, with the opportunity to ask us questions there and then. So we'll be there with our sort of flagship products as well. And um, we're going to bring our whole team. It's probably worth mentioning that. I mean, few of you probably are aware, especially if you've been with us for years, that although we're called Craig and Dave, there are a couple of extra people behind the scenes. We had uh, Mark on a few weeks ago, our lead technical developer. Uh, he's the guy who actually codes Smart Revise. He's going to be there. Uh, if you've ever emailed in, made a sale, or had a query, you would have uh, you would have dealt with the wonderful um, Andy uh, via email. He's going to be there, and um, Sam as well. If you've been with us for a long time, you, you may have seen him. He's he comes to us to the uh, odd cast event and conference, and uh, he's popped up on the website now and again. But they're all going to be there. We're dragging them all along to London for a three day jolly, whether they want to or not. So you're going to be able to get to meet the whole uh, extent team um right well i think a, a, a shorter video really is there anything else you kind of you were, you were burning to get in there dave that we hadn't said well kind of... i was just having a little look at the uh the scrolling banner here on the bet website and a couple of things caught my attention um the first is this esports more is more about um <laughs> It's gone so quickly, I didn't read it in time. Esports <laughs> is more about gaming. It is less about gaming, one or the other. Anyway, it's yeah. not just about gaming. I think, that, I think that's that was the gist. There it is. Esports, Esports is more than just gaming. More than just gaming. So that caught my eye. And we've been talking in previous episodes over the last couple of weeks about um, you know, how you can do a little bit more and make yourself stand out um, as a student and for teachers, you know, how you can enrich your curriculum to get more interested in the subject from uh, from the younger students so that they take it when they get to GCSE and A-level. And if you've if you're interested in, well, could I run an esports club? You're going to be able to find out at BET what that's all about, uh, for example. Um, oh, I also okay. noticed um, there was something about, here we are, adapting, adopting, and transforming, enhancing, teaching, and learning with technology. So if you're at all interested in any subject about how technology could enhance teaching and learning, BET is really the place to be. So, so much yeah. to discover. It, it, I mean... The more I think about it, the more we could talk about it. The best thing is just to go and have a look. As I said, are you specifically interested in, in, in how technology, services and solutions can be used to support your SEND students? There will be dozens of companies there with bespoke specific solutions targeted for that. You know, whole school management, homework solutions, mm. all those companies will be there. You know, traditional teachers, exam boards and everything in between. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, maybe yeah. you're interested in, you know, a new 3D printer and you want to compare some models uh, you're looking for some gizmos in the classroom you know what, whatever it is um yeah you're you're going to be able to find it there and there's one final thing um i i often don't have time to attend these because i'm so busy looking at all the stands it's hard to do it all in a day really yeah. um but they also have um sort of lectures and uh, little 20 minute um presentations as well a whole sort of variety um it's not just wandering around a trade stand and looking at different stalls there are lots of other things that you can do while you're there 
I yes, I can't believe I hadn't mentioned that. You're right. There are five uh, theatres at Bet, uh, either in the show hall or dotted around the exterior of the show hall, and they will be jam packed with events and talks and presentations from industry leaders, experts through all three days of Bet. So explore that website um, because you know we've been to one or two before, but as you say, I'm usually so busy trying to go around, uh, it's tricky to take it all in. Right. Well, there's one that. burning question, oh, Craig. There's, go there's on. one last question that's going to be uh, burning in people's minds. They're going oh, to want dear. to know. Well, firstly, they're going to discover that Craig and Dave are real people, two different real two people. Two different people. <laughs> you can come and see us uh, in the flesh, as it were. And that burning question, you know, can I can I get your autograph that we, <laughs> that we get sometimes from students? What, why you would want it, I have no idea, um, you know. Can you um, can I have a selfie with you? That that happens occasionally when we go to shows. So do you know what? Yeah, okay. Free selfies, free autographs. <laughs> we might even have a pen that we can give you. We'll have to have a look at what freebies we're going to offer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! It's all right. about the babies, Craig. You know that you've been to bet enough times. I used to I run have. a competition with my trainees. You who did. Can, uh, who can come back with the best goodie bag? Who uh, you know? Who, <laughs> I'm sure someone came home with an iPad once, and that's quite impressive. Okay, that was me, and it wasn't an iPad. It was a graphics tablet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I stayed on that stand for thirty minutes, bothering that guy. Convinced? No, I can't. I can't get into this. <laughs> But yeah, I came away with a graphics tablet. Everyone else is going, I've got a mug and a USB pen and a coaster. Graphics tablet. <laughs> and we won't be giving away graphics tablets, by the way. <laughs> right. Okay. So just a reminder then, stand NA55. Check it out on betshow.com. And the show is running from the 19th to the 21st of January. And we will be there the whole time. <laughs> yeah. So, good um, to see you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.